morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Living With S. I am Sharon Mundi, and today we are at the beautiful Westwood Hotel. You probably will hear birds tripping. I actually saw at some point a monkey crossing over, so maybe we'll get a little bit of wildlife. But what's really exciting about today's show is that we're getting some performances. We have got the gentleman behind Nairobi Horns Project. That is Rabai Moku Mokua, who's yeah. a saxophonist. Victor Kinama, who's a trombonist, mm -hmm. and last but not least, the funny guy, <laughs> um, McKinley Mutsembi, who's um, on the trumpet. So welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I am not going to lie. I think I should just come off and just tell you off the bat, straight up. I wasn't sure which instrument was which. So that's why at some point I was like, should I Google really quickly? Or I'll just like, go back to my notes. Yeah. Do you get a lot of that, like people mixing... Do, do you find that people are generally aware of the no. different instruments? No, no, no. So I think we've all been saxophonists and trumpeters. Yeah. yeah. And do you get offended when someone, you know, is like, hey, yeah, yeah. I really love you on the sax. And you're like, it, it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> a trumpet, yes. yes. You yeah. get that a lot. Yeah. I used to, but now it's like, it's cool. You yeah. Know. yeah. Are you paying? <laughs> it's, it's an avenue. It's an avenue. Yeah. Now it's, you have an opportunity to now educate someone. Right. Yeah. 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 So I want to hear a little bit more about your journey into music and how it all started. Um, and maybe, maybe we could start with you, actually, Victor. Okay. When did you first pick up an instrument, and what instrument was it? First instrument actually was the trumpet. The trumpet. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to play in church. Then I learned the other brass instruments. All of them actually, and then finally I decided. Please to mention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you right. want me to right. mention well okay, I learned. Yeah. I learned how to play the the tenor horn, the baritone, the euphonium, the tuba, yeah. the, what, what else? I'm the not going to lie, this is not how to Wow. Like all so, brass so instruments. So did you have yeah. someone teaching you in church or were you yeah, learning on, okay. we, we had someone teaching us. Wow. Yeah, so and then finally I settled on the trombone. Interesting. It was, it was my last instrument actually. Yeah. So, yeah, and okay. that's the one that <laughs> called, yeah, that's called the actually the that, most, yeah. spoke to your spirit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and what about you, what was the first instrument? I started with the trombone actually back in high school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then uh, played the trombone for a while. After high school, I picked up the trumpet, was jacked, <laughs> lost it. Oh. And then, uh, <laughs> luckily, one of my relatives had a saxophone under their bed, and then I picked it up and was like, yeah, learn this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting yeah, yeah. That, yes. that so far there was no guitar or piano. I. <laughs> no, 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 guitar, no, 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 okay, yeah. did you just start with guitar or piano? Yeah, no, no? <laughs> you went straight into like, actually, I think my first instrument it will be a harmonica, it will be oh, <laughs> to be honest. okay, yeah. I was in, yeah, I was in class eight and then my, my older bro who plays the trombone, yeah, he uh, came home with this thing and he was making music from it. No, so it was very intriguing for me. So, of course, we were like swapping it back and forth and right. just mm, taking on or whatever. I just we played the hell out of it. But then I joined the brass band maybe a year later mm. and I started on something else completely. Interesting. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, mm. but this, you know, horn instruments are, are rarely really explored. It's usually you, you, you come across bass guitarists, yeah. uh, pianists, a lot more, even drummers, a lot a more. A lot more than horn players. Yeah. And why is that? Is this more it's, uh, uh, you know, demanding of you physically? I think it's availability. Yeah, okay. accessibility. Because yeah. this thing costs close to 100 years. A hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. I can see why someone Jack. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if one yeah. of you guys loses yeah. one of those. A yeah. yeah. hundred thousand? Yeah. Because even the thing is, and his is even, let's not talk about it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, no, but let's yeah, let's actually yeah. talk. I would it's love to I mean, know, and I'm like sure people would. A professional sax. Yeah, it would probably tenor. cost you maybe what? a million yeah. wow. shillings. Yeah. Or so above. like what we use is mm. right. Uh, so it's harder to come yeah, by. So yeah. like what? Probably two fifty. Yeah. Wow. Mm, kind of. Yeah. And then just because it's also vintage, uh, well, this is vintage. the value has gone up yeah, as well. Like because it's, uh, uh, it's like yeah. 50 years old. Uh, yeah. How old what? Is yeah, more than that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so how did the three of you mm. come to meet? All right. Hmm. How did you Brother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't want to be part of the interview. <laughs> 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 I was walking around. Right, so <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of the night. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So It has to be dramatic. And then there was a noise in the bush. Anyway, that's not what happened. When I came to Nairobi to 
pursue music. Okay. That was maybe four years ago. Uh -huh. uh, I met, I think I met Drabai because he used to play at a certain gig I used to go to, mm -hmm. listen to him at K1, remember? Mm, yeah, back, yeah. back in the day. And then, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I knew another sax player as well. And then he used to take me to listen to, because we had nothing to do on Tuesdays. Sorry, um, he used to take you to what? To K1, oh, to K1. listen okay. to yeah. them play on Tuesdays. Okay. So I knew of him there. Ah. Uh, and then uh, him, I knew him through his younger brother, who's a trumpet player. Oh, yeah. so music is in your family, Victor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is yeah. it just your, your brother, who's a, a, an both instrumentalist? Both families, actually. Both. Okay. Oh, yeah. both, both families. families. Yeah. Yes. Both He's family. actually a distant uncle. Uh, something we know like that. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're supposed to be. Wow. We don't know. We yeah, don't know we how yet. We're still yeah. trying yeah. to figure out. Yeah. So, like, so, so music is in your family. Yeah, it's like yeah. a thing you do okay. growing up. We grew up in the Salvation Army, ah. so everyone just plays. Uh, wow. Or at some point, you all pick up. It's the coolest yeah. thing to do when you're twelve. I yeah. love that um, it was cool to pick up instruments. It was right? because uh, we. Wow. Uh, I think in my case, I was kind of forced to join. Because my, my mom felt I was getting into trouble in, in the roots. She was like, all my children have to play brass. Oh, bless your mother. So, so yeah. she enrolled, uh, so my sister plays, my oh. brother plays, my mom now plays. Oh. Mm -hmm. She just learns. She can all, do a few notes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all on the trumpet or? Uh, different uh, instruments in the brass family. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's like a, a thing we did growing up. Yeah. It was never... It was never like a plan. Right. So went to school, studied something else, had a different career. Yeah. And then later I was like, yeah, maybe we should do music. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So actually, I want to even go back a little bit and understand mm. your your pursuit of the arts and mm. music. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's clear in your family that that was yeah, outright the support. It was, it was almost expected of you quite early mm. on, which is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know from you, Rabbi, was it clear? Was <coughs> it was it easy to sort of come out and be like, all right, um, I'm off to pursue yeah. that <laughs> art? I think for me, it was a personal choice uh, just after high school. Um, and yeah, didn't get the opportunity to go to college. Uh, financial constraints back at home and I was like yeah you got off high school and you have this skill why don't you just uh, perfect start for me. Yeah, yeah. Start it's, for it, yeah. we kind of have a similar story in that yeah. way because yeah. it was the first yeah. way to earn money mm. as, oh. you know, mm. to get back in, you know, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah oh wow yeah, so by say by 15 you, know, you could make 100 bob yeah uh, and I think I think we did a lot of corporate yeah. gigs even in high school. Yeah, uh, some stuff. UN gigs we did oh, with ah, our gosh. brass band. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, used to get something small. Um, yeah. And then after that, I was like, yeah, I could actually make a living out of this. And uh, over time, uh, with with um, practice and all that, uh, joining some few bands and also going to school to study a little bit of music. Yeah, I yeah, started making a living off, off my of music. This. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Victor, was this an easy pursuit? <laughs> um actually I'd say it's, it was like the same case yeah. as for a buy. So at some point I was like, Okay, let me just let my talent feed me because yeah. yeah. And did you I guess it also helps that because this is you know, like you said, it, it, there's not much access to it. It's, yeah. it's still a, a, a rarity, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not many people pursue it. Mm. The fact that you do, and you do it so well, then allows you to get more gigs. Am I correct in, in yeah, saying I think that? It's, mm. uh, yeah. In high school to it's be you yeah. know, doing uh, that, making yeah. that yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows that it's really about a mm. passion, Actually, but also yeah, it's, scarcity. It's very things. important for, I think, for people who are growing up. Because I think the denominator in our stories, which are all, I mean, I grew up in Mombasa. Mm. You grew up here. You grew up here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the thing is, like, um, music was very time consuming in our teens, mm. which kind of uh. kept you focused on, you know, the same thing. Like, right. kept you out of a lot of things. Get, kept you out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Kept you from, like, really understanding yeah. whether you had yeah. access to other things yes, that other yes. kids were having. Yeah. So you don't yeah. have those pressures, really. Yeah. You're yeah. just yeah. perfecting an yeah. art. Yeah. And that yeah. must have really built your character. Yeah. The more you're talking, the more I'm like, parents, <laughs> yeah. listen. Yeah. To get us. your children yeah. on some Do instruments. Yeah. Yeah, on or some sport or mm. something. That is it, because Focus. my mom was like, if you have to live in this house, you have to play. Wow. And not because she, she was just thinking we, we had so much drugs, you know, that mm. kind of stuff. Happened. Like, my kid would not be here. If you have any free time, 
I want you in charge playing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, playing yeah pretty much yeah. occupied. We got yeah. preoccupied. So you, yeah. and then, then distracted us from you know, the all the things. things. Yeah, yeah, the naughty yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things Especially as a teenager. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. 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 So Nairobi Horns Project. Mm. How was that birthed? Okay. All right. So um, we were all doing our thing. And then uh, McKinley came to Nairobi. Um, and he did a few projects, uh, Coke Studio, yeah, to be precise. Cool, yeah. You did two seasons, yeah. and there was a brass section in the in the in the in the in that project. In uh, different, different, different people, guys, yeah. different people. Yeah. And he thought to himself, why not form a brass section that can um, so an opportunity actually first, so an opportunity to like, yeah, we actually can make money mm-hmm. off this mm. so i made a few phone calls and i was like yeah okay i like your story i like we can do this um and i bought the idea yeah. um and he also called this gentleman and we started practicing Just and formed things. a brass section wow yes nairobi horns nairobi project, project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and why how why, why you, yeah why nairobi horns the project? thing is for me uh, i mean uh transitioning to music four years ago because i had a different career totally uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a management profession, yeah. so I did work in non- non-profit, in SMEs, right. post-grad stuff, all that kind of stuff. But when I came here, I was like uh, looking for self-employment. You know, Kenya's like, now I want to have my hustle. Mm. So for yeah. me, that thing was music. Mm. You know, and I mm. came and then when I was, uh, I got into Coke Studio. What shocked me was uh, then I had, I didn't know how much people were making. What do you mean? Uh, like as musicians. Uh, I, I had never thought of music as an earning. Oh, you know, okay. I played for what, maybe 16, whatever years. Okay. But it was a thing I would do once every what, yeah. five months, mm. something like that. I had never thought of it as a, you know, as a job yeah. for people. But then when I came on Coke Studio, it was eye-opening. You know, there was all this, the set was there, there was right. all these artists in coming that in. Finally, you saw the business. I saw mm. the business in aspect of this, yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. In, in this art, yeah. in music. Yes. And then at that very moment, I was doing my MBA then. Mm. Uh, I threw out my thesis, you know, I did a thesis on music business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh good, the, yeah. the business of music. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it took, it was very like eye-opening for me, like, so I was like, ah, it's okay. So that was that, and then the vision was nice, and then now getting the people was a problem. What do you mean people? Uh, like the band? Like, yes, or? like okay. people to join in, because uh, it, it was a strange, I mean, these guys are risk, take, they're risk takers, because uh. they didn't, they, they kind of believed in something that was not existing then. Mm. Right. Like, oh, we can do it. Like, ah, oh, let's, you know. But it was not very easy for me to just... Right. I was new. No one, people didn't know me that much. Uh, and then... So when you get a call from a guy, yeah. you're like, ah? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who are <laughs> yeah. you? What's up? <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> yeah. But these and guys, yeah. And when was this? When did you get the... When did Nairobi Horns 2016? project? 2016? 2016. 2016. Okay. Mm. 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 All right. That's when we were so now I, I would love to yeah. hear... Mm-hmm one of your pieces so mm. i'm going to let you guys take us off into into the break mm. with a performance if that's okay that's all right so they're going to perform and when we come back we'll get to hear a little bit more about their story but here is nairobi horns project mm. this one is called mr hugh masakela oh. of our debut album uh yeah called black and gold mm. This piece is special because it's just been licensed to Sony Music. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> all right. Now, I, boys. I, and we are, we are, we are. Just, uh, for, you know, for like a common ca- you know, album. Casual, you know, big Hollywood <laughs> names here. No worries. <laughs> no, no, no big deal. deal. That's how it sounds. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, so we're going to go on break, but we'll be back in a moment. to answer Mary Mary has a toothache oh I see and who knows why because the tooth is too big no it might be a hole in her tooth called a cavity that's why I brush twice a day using Colgate imagine this is your tooth and these are food acids that cause cavities Colgate with calcium and fluoride helps prevent cavities for maximum cavity protection and now available in a 12 gram sachet for fresh breath only 15 shillings Je, maumivu ya kichwa na kukosesha amani? Kaluma Strong utuliza maumivu ya kichwa, maumivu ya mwili na hata uondoa joto jingi mwilini. Kaluma Strong ina aspirin kama kiungo. Maumivu ya kizidi, muone daktari. He had a successful career, a supportive family and lifelong friends. Thank you. But from the moment they met, he knew his life would not be complete without her. No one leaves. Just calm down, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Just give me the gun. Please. Stop. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. I get worried because every day I see my children take milk. Personally, I take a lot of tea. Out of these samples that shouldn't be on the shelf. The population is vulnerable. So I will say in terms of risk, yes, we are at a high risk. My life just started, you know, going through my head. Oh, now I'm done. What do you expect in this country? What did you do when you found out the factory? Had... We reported to them. We reported to the authorities. They promised action like they promised me this afternoon. Blah, 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 blah. Unadhani pressure yangu imepata juu ya mafuta? No. Rota sana roho mbaya. Ni yimu nafanya na kuwa na roho ngumu. Siku nilikuitia kazi sijifanya hard to get. It's a no. Unafanyaje mambo na mama wenye nyumba? Ona sasa hivi umekosa kazi. Hata kama mimi ni bad character, I am a bad character with good morals. Amerudi meru ndio sasa relationship yenu kwa long distance eh? Wewe ni mtu wa kuogelea kwenye watu na ogelea mambo ya kuogeza wait. Mimi ndo naambia hivyo. Hey, you are the worst. The Real House Helps of Kawangware in association with Yola. Power up your day! Hakuna daru mbaka, neba ingiye, president. Unajua asa wana tubebo ujinga sana. Mazia. Sisi ya tuwezi kuwa tunapiga kura lafu wana, kila wana wasewe ngine ya tunjua wana ingia. This is not good. This is not good, Tasha. By force, by fire. Yes, even the BBC mwenyewe, ata kutafta. Mark my words. The riot is escalating. The Dean, DVC, and Electoral Board are meeting as we speak. If an investigation is carried out, the three of us will be discovered. You are watching Living With Us in association with Minute Maid. Welcome back, everybody. We are at Westwood Hotel, and I've got the gentleman behind Nairobi Horns Project. That is Mr. Rabai yeah. Victor, mm -hmm. Victor, and <laughs> Victor, and McKinley. Um, so 
I want to understand a little bit more about the evolution of Nairobi Horns project and specifically diving into the business of it, mm -hmm. um, which you touched on a little bit, uh, Mac, earlier, saying how it, it, that, you know, doing your MBA and even trying to, you know, create um, sort of a story or a, try and understand how to make a business out of this. What were the first few steps in trying to create those structures so that it's not just you know another group of three people meeting once every five months, mm -hmm. but really yeah, this is what you do yeah. for a living? Yeah. What were those first yeah. few Actually, decisions I, you had to I make? Have, I have a short story about that. Mm. It's very interesting. So we played. Uh, you, you guys, know, we did the Saudi Soul yeah. album launch. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. So they, they hired us as a home section for that gig, and that was the point we're feeling like we're, we're ready to. You know, mm. to, come out and to come out and break out. So, I think there's a gig we did before that. It was Frank's gig. Yeah, Frank, yeah. Uh, no, it was actually the audition to suff for the suffer. That was that was after. That was much later. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Was, uh, the, uh, this one was on February 13th, yeah. oh, 2016. Wow. Yeah. This okay. Audi Soul gig. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because it was Valentine, it's Audi Soul and all that yeah. vibe. So we did that gig and then we were paid for it. Uh, uh, we, we felt nice that you know they could reach out to us. And then we're like, yes, now we're ready to face the world. So at that point, I was uh, doing something else. I was doing business development for some IT firm. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was deep into project plans and all that kind of, like, actualizing money from a software they're doing. And I told these guys, oh, now we have to, we have to launch. And we need to have a gig. So I booked a venue. You know, I was like, oh, we have, but we didn't have any money for the gig, mm -hmm. you know. What do you mean, any, like to set L up like for it, yourselves? It, it, I, think, I, should, I, th I think I had 40 Gs mm. yeah. in cash. I was like, so this, this is the money we have. Now we have to start, you know. So I was like, book the venue, get the sound, all Market, that stuff. Yeah. yeah, and then I realized... Social media, set yeah. up all those things. <laughs> yeah. I realized a week to the gig, I was like, no one knows us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> who, who will come for this performance? Yeah. So, and I was like, what I'm doing now for this uh, IT firm, I'm not using it for my music. Yeah. So I I cancelled, we cancelled the gig. I was like, now we need a project plan. You know, so did like a fancy Gantt chart with timelines oh, okay. for myself. Uh, so now we say we have to invest into like now doing say social media, mm. getting we have we had a friend take photos of us in his house for profile. Uh. I, I used to build sites before, so I built a very rudimentary. A very bad website, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but but it was there. Yeah. It was something there, you know. Right. Uh, and then, so I just got like all the things, the basics for marketing done in some sort of way. Now waiting for, you know, of course there are no followers. There was mm -hmm. nothing. We're just taking photos and posting. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nairobi Horns here, talking about ourselves to ourselves, you know. I think we did a yeah, few interviews. You know. Trying to sell the brand yeah. as well. Yeah. But I like yeah. that, that it, it was clear that it was, you it was had very to have certain yeah. structures in yeah. place, yeah. Yeah. sort of set the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So whether it was the marketing element, yeah. you know, creating a website yeah. and everything, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and uh, trying to create a, a to plan. Do, and even follow up, like follow through, like say, strategically, what are you doing towards uh, actualizing your brand, yeah. for example. So w when we auditioned for Safaricom Jazz and we got it, yeah. and we played on that stage, people were like, who are these guys? Uh. So when people went online, there was, every, was somewhere to, there was yeah. everything mm. you could find and yeah. information about. So you. overnight, the brand kind of tipped. Right. So, I, so was that was that your turning yeah. point? Yes. You think yeah. Safari from Jazz? Yeah. yeah. So that was your big break, yeah. and from that, you yeah. felt that there was an interest mm. and a key yeah. interest, and you could build up on yeah. that to yeah. make the business continue yeah. working for you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I want to understand a little bit about your art mm. and whether it comes with it's and whether it's exerting whether you have any moments of injuries and, mm. and especially since you're doing the same thing mm. over and over and yes. over again i've tried once in my life i think to blow on into a sax and i was like I how like <laughs> does anyone <laughs> do this for an <laughs> hour for an hour and to do it with such like three hours, three hours? Mm -hmm. wow to like to do it with <laughs> such like fluidity <laughs> and, and grace and yeah. it just sort of like just yeah. it, it's just mm -hmm. flowing mm -hmm. how do you deal okay. with the, do you ever get any kind of repetitive um strain injuries all right um i think there's one famous uh trumpetist called louis louis armstrong mm -hmm. um the great louis armstrong mm -hmm. um he did so many gigs that he bust his lip 
No, yeah, he busted his lip. <laughs> and he was on stage, he was on stage playing because he was doing he was so busy. Yeah. So he didn't give for, his for years though, it was years. Yeah, for, yeah, he didn't give his lips um, you know, time A to break. heal because you like you you you're really just <laughs> whacking that part of your body yeah <laughs> so you got a blister and it burst out? Are, you, are you feeling <laughs> yeah i'm feeling the pain i feel it's like i actually need to go and put like lips on. <laughs> it's actually not it's actually not that bad yeah, yeah. have you had uh -huh. any look at his lips though do you see anything stained with his lips <laughs> oh is that from a burst yeah, yeah. yeah this, this is from kidding. playing yeah, yeah. look like at my lips here there's a mark something yes. Yes. So so call it, we call it a mark of quality yeah you, so mark you of when you have this means you've been you've been doing it for long enough i mean i and i've got to like i mean that's something that i really look up to and admire in yeah. athletes or yeah. you know or, or even mm. musicians mm -hmm. artists really people are so passionate that they give of themselves yeah. so much yeah. that even physically yeah it starts to show to show it has to, to yeah so how do you manage that for people who are watching and are interested in coming on board victor i want to hear especially yeah. since um, you've got yeah, you know, <laughs> your, your at, at yeah. some point you have to give yourself a break and rest not just push too hard so mm. you have to create breaks in between yeah, and yeah, how yeah. long would you say those breaks um a few days I oh think. a few days yeah so not we're not talking not, not a holiday no no no, no not <laughs> a holiday if you go for a holiday when you come back <laughs> you've, you've, you've lost it what yeah. yeah wait a second so this isn't like riding a bike where you just need to get back on it and you're able to no see yes, it, that's not, that's <laughs> it's different to the instrument yeah, yeah, like you um, need to stay on the bike you need to always <laughs> remind <laughs> yourself yeah <laughs> constantly yeah that's why you practice you you play a song you executed it with your band then you don't play it for six months you like when you go play it you're like yeah, you ah, you what ha what's happening yeah. yeah you it's like you for you forget wow. so you're yeah. constantly reminding yourself uh, and working on uh, just retaining the information mm. and how muscle do you do memory, it muscle memory by you know. always constantly <laughs> just reminding yourself going through the pieces etc etc what do you mean mm. so if i put if if you put this uh, the any one of these brass instruments yeah, down, down yeah. for six months. Oh, you you're you get rusty. You don't you yeah, you months. get rusty. <laughs> one month. Even yeah. one, one month. month? You, yes. you get uh, rusty. You so can so get you're telling me you've not stopped ever since you started. Like not for us, no, you, you for us brass players, yeah. it's there's, there's, there's some chemistry with the mouthpiece yeah. and yeah. Your, the it muscles in your lips. It just goes away. It goes away. It's called an embocha. An how so you demonstrate how your lips sit. The, the more the you play <laughs> and the more you practice, the more you yeah, develop you, you, muscles. You what are we talking? Wait, that. we develop muscles. <laughs> yeah. in you, your see lips. Yes. <laughs> you see what happened? Yes. You see what happened? Last week, last week I, last week I lost my trumpet. Okay. I, I came from the SGR, I got into a car, I, I left it out. Oh, wow. Anyway, yeah. it's lost, that's fine. So I have a new thing I'm playing, mm -hmm. or rather some old one in the house. Now, things are not working on this instrument, you know, because if, if you look at, say, the way it's engineered, it's, it's got only, what, three... So yeah, if you do, like, say... <laughs> those are, like, five notes without changing anything. Yeah. You're changing... Very oh, subtle, very subtle the changes. Lips, yeah. The tension on your lips so is you changing subtly for every note. So what you're telling me, <laughs> Mary Horn's project, <laughs> is that your mouth or your lips <laughs> are money yeah. makers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the money makers. <laughs> money makers and like stronger, more like that yes. you've been able yeah. to build. Oh, and for sort sure. Of you have muscle in the your lips. Tension around yeah. this area. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Over time. Yeah. So even you'll practice, you remember, with, with a pen when a kid yeah. hold up your pencil yeah. for hours until your mouth shakes. What? Just to, to get That's how you practice? Yeah. Like it, to get no, you guys need to hold like a master class because I'm just like learning so much and I'm sure if you're yeah. watching and you're like, wait a second, yeah. what is this? Yeah. This this is so fascinating. It is. And, and they say, like say, uh, for, for example, for me, and I'm a trumpet player and I've played maybe, what, eight, nine instruments. This is the hardest I ever played. Oh, it's not. But that's a trumpet. Yeah, it's not okay. friendly to me. Okay. It keeps on, you know. It, even you've seen, even like after yeah. a week, you're like, the notes just refuse to come out. Wow. Conquering that instrument is it's another thing. Is that the be, hardest of the? I, I believe. For so. me, yeah. For me, this is. Okay. You yeah. know, in the brass. Family, <laughs> really, that's the, the hardest. It just goes <laughs> off. In which one would be? To the tame it. To tame it. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I'm over to you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You're one. Yeah. As in, yeah. I'm in control. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. you, you should hear someone learning to play this accent. It sounds like a horse or something. Yeah. <laughs> Some <t> <laughs> sound bad. So which one is the best terrible. one to start with? I think for me, the piano. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> you see everything. 
throw shade? Can you just no, let you, the piano? No, like he's really. Been learning to play. Yeah, like oh, you, really? you see everything. You see oh, everything. Oh, you're being serious right yeah. now. Are you yeah. actually learning to? Oh, I thought you were yeah. trying to be like just play the piano. No, no, no. This is too hard. No, really. Yeah. You get to see everything. You get to hear everything uh, in context. You yeah. See, so yeah. you see your C, your F, everything, uh, whatever chord you're playing, you can see. Well, you can can't hear. You, well, can't you? You can't see it. You can. Oh, you you, you can't. only play one chord. You only one note. Oh. And the other two times, so this one gives you a chord and stuff. I uh, mean, it's, it's, uh, it, it's good bass. The, the most uh, yeah. uh, important skill for a musician is not the instrument; mm. it's the ear. Mm. This, yeah. So, so, can you play by ear, Victor? Can you play by ear? Yeah, we play yeah, by yeah, ear. Play by Everyone. By so, I, if, if you just heard like a cool Jam. Jay Z track yeah. with yeah. some yeah. like nice can you sing? brass, yeah. oh, no, like no like, <laughs> like, 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 like hum. <laughs> can you hum anything? Yeah. Just hum. Anything? Yeah. What? Yeah, so that's Guys, idea. I am about to quit this show. <laughs> We're starting a band. I have an idea. We're starting a band. Don't just worry, guys. We'll be all eating. No, we And the flower. And the flower. <laughs> Hit it, guys! Yeah. Hit it, guys! Yeah. One, two, so anyways, so, so that's the ear working. You need to oh, wow. have that so you can pick what, what key is it, what you know, and what harmony is it. And do you think that it's easy to transfer this skill into other space, into other instruments? Like you know, like yeah. you're talking about yeah. learning the piano now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it easy to then? Yeah. yeah. The ear is universal. The ear in it's in any instrument. A C is um, a C yeah. on <laughs> on whatever instrument. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. And, so. and the basics are the same. So if you say if you, because you can hear why you harmed it because you can hear something in your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you actualize that through your mouth. Right. And then I pick. And you're able to. Yeah. I mean, you see so it you hear so fast easily, and then but you hear it fast and then you <laughs> bring it out. Yeah, yeah, you make it sound so easy, but I, th I know that it, it is not that easy, and it, it's, I'm sure it's taken like years and years yeah. of yeah. repetition yeah. of yeah. of uh, in, gymnastics, in, yeah, <laughs> gymnastics, <laughs> lip gymnastics. At this point, all right. So yeah. I'm going to ask that you play one more song before we go yeah. on Actually, break. I, I kind of like what she's done. Can we mm. work with that? Really? So you're just going to? Well, that's the motif we have, right? <laughs> um, I just want to make sure I get paid too, <laughs> so hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> 